What up guys? Welcome back man. Today we are going to be hitting Lake Louisville. I'm actually in the truck on the drive from Hearst, Texas man. We picked up the hot tamale today. That's right. We have the Red Ranger in tow. We got its first break-in service done guys. Oil change, air filter. They went ahead and updated our Garmin units. Apparently they're supposed to be a lot less static on the live scope and with this new update I might be able to record the screen and actually show you guys what's happening underneath us or in front of us with the perspective mode utilizing the new update. So whether it's in this video, I don't know if I'm going to have time to dial it in today or not or in the next upcoming videos be sure to subscribe hit notifications to watch some more action on the Garmin live scope this stuff is absolutely sick I'm gonna be meeting up with Scott we're dropping in at a new area on Lake Louisville and we're gonna be hunting for some Giants man it's overcast it's been cooler these last couple days some storms we don't know where we're gonna find these fish but I think if we do find them we might get into something big that is gonna be the goal for today I'll catch you guys when we get to the launch There we go. Ladies and gents, Scott has just dropped us in. And uh, I'm gonna wait till Scott gets back over here to the ramp. We're gonna try and get on some fish, man. He already had one on the bank hit his uh, red worm. So we'll see what happens. A little chalky today. All right, might get rained on today, boys. Skirt, watch out little duckies. Let's, let's work it a little bit. I'm gonna switch my GoPro battery out. Do, 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 do. All right, y'all. Scott and I are getting started flipping some tires out here. It's just kind of a spot on the way to the spot, he says. Kind of let this drop down a little ways. You let it go down too far, and there's a good chance of getting snagged. I can see this thick wire dropping down between all these tires. And uh, I text posed my hook pretty good, to say the least. Kicking things off, man. Weather's looking spectacular, ladies and gents. I mean, the, the wind has died down even since we got here. I didn't hit this one. I'll just kind of hit one, skip one. Look at this tire. What do these tires go on? <laughs> what the? Have you driven uh, by the golf course on Teal? Uh, you can start to see it's it's kind of coming together. You know, they're... Oh, it's, I'm sure it is. Oh, two tires. Two for one special. You know what? Watch this. I'm going to see if one's hanging out on the outside. You never really know, do you? <laughs> Don't know until you know. Bastards could be anywhere. What's over yonder? Probably just probably just a snag so far guys it looks like Bridgestone's selling a little bit more tires they got the edge on Michelin that's for sure down south I don't know what it is but the Bridgestone seem to perform a little better I'll tell you what's not performing the Okeechobee craw at the moment five minutes in I haven't caught a fish I need my rebate <laughs> you got to get the haters going in the comments going into uncharted territory y'all outside the tires yet again no way you got a bite dude you got one no way no way oh my gosh shut up Oh no way! Was that Bridgestone or Michelin? That was Bridgestone. That was Bridgestone. <laughs> First one of the day goes to old Scott, man. On the worm. Probably wasn't even that far down, was it? No, it was maybe five, six. Five, six feet down. Golly. Oh my goodness. Black and red worm, y'all. I've got some too. I might have to rig one up. If I know. Yeah, yep. All right, y'all, here we go. I found a black and red worm. It's a ribbon tail, about seven inch. I don't know if it's gonna have the same appeal as Scott's over here, but meanwhile, he's gonna catch number two before I even get rigged up, I bet. All right, Okeechobee crawl, it's been fun. I'll tell you what, this is an EWG hook and it's like a three-aught. Normally I'm using like a four or five-aught worm hook. A wise fisherman would probably say to switch my hook right now, but we're just gonna roll with the punches, y'all. We're here to have fun, not catch fish. <laughs> 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 this is one thing I like about these XO ribbons though. Look at the uh, ridges, I guess, in the body. It allows you to text pose the hook really well and it does not come out whatsoever. I mean, top notch. This one right here, y'all, would be next to impossible. With this branch, those wires, and all the rubber, I got a feeling this could be bad. Then you get a little bird's nest, so you gotta drop it lower than you want. Recipe for a bite. I'm using straight braid, by the way, too, guys. So this wire, hopefully, what's best to throw when there's wire? Mono, fluoro, or braid? Yeah. Braid is not good on rock. Wood is where, wood is where braid excels, right? Like trees and stuff like that. That's where you're gonna really have the strength. Now, when it comes to this wire right here, eh, a little tough to say. It might slice and dice the old braid. Wait, what line is best, guys? I want to know. When you're fishing, there's these thick wires keeping all these tires in place. I'm trying to figure out what is the line I should be using. Maybe braid is not it. I might get a big bite and get broke off, but time will tell, won't it? I think we got another uh, 10 tires to work. Probably five a piece here. Come on, five pounder. Okay, what you thinking? Yes. Okay, here we go, check me out. I'm, this is, pop, pop, see that? 
That'll get fish right on it. Pop, yep. Yeah. There's something. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep jigging it right here. Hey, you know what? These might be crappie. There's definitely some fish. That's yep. fish. Yep. If I get one on this tube, I will be a happy camper. Look at that. Oh, I just spooked him. I popped right in his face. Well, maybe we were meant to fish the dam tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's catch a fish. I'm gonna do a little scan just to see what's around here. See, that's look at all that bait mm -hmm. behind us to the left. But it's gonna be all along this, I bet. Yep, there we go. First fish for me. What do we got? Doesn't look like a largey. Oh, it is. There we go. All right. You know what? For how small it is, it's fat. Look at that plump belly, dude. All right, first one on the little Carl's Crank, man. If I recall correctly, I'd say this is an eight to 12 footer. Shad color, man. It gets them out here on Lake Louisville, apparently. If you get snagged, just kind of give it a little slack for a second. Don't try and lean into it. You know, if you realize it's not a bite and it's not shaking, all these square bills are floating. So what's gonna happen is you just let it chill for a second and it kind of floats itself out of that situation. If not, what I like to do is pull my line a little bit, give it a little slack and release that slack right as I bring the rod tip down. A lot of times it'll pop it out. And uh, if that don't work, shoot, you're gonna have to troll on over to it. Woo, another one on the crank, boys. Yeehoo! Gotta thank airplanes for the audio today. I think that's the second time in a row. I'm trying to tell y'all something. These fish are feeding, boys. They're getting fat in here on these shad. I figured I'm off them up just the just what they want. Nope. Oh, got another one. There we go. Right off the rocks, guys. Biggest one of the day? It very well could be. But the thing is, we haven't caught very many big fish. I don't think this is a bass, boys. It looks like a drum. <laughs> Everything in here eats the Shad's crankbait from Carl's Amazing Baits, y'all. Check out Carl's Bait and Tackle, link in the description if you want to catch some fish. It just might not be your target species, you hear? There we go. All right, let's try and get that again. I think that's a new species for the boat, at least for me. I've never, I don't think I've ever caught a drum on the boat. Maybe Devin did the one time we were going for crappie, but common practice too, guys, if you all bump into a rock and you, right when you deflect off that cover, make all that noise underwater is to just pause that, uh, pause that crank. A lot of times you'll get hit Right after that pause, you deflect off a cover, get the bass attention, they cruise on over, and you haven't uh, vacated the premises quite yet. And then it's also good when you got wakeboarders creating waves right in front of you. This is where you use a rattling crank bait. <laughs> we should be with them, man. They're having, they're having a little bit too much fun. Got considerably shallower over here. No, it just got bent out of shape. Oh, 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 broke that. Well, we tried, boys. <sighs> Five hooks is better than one. That's true. The overwatch. What you up to, buddy? You ain't gonna catch any fish up there? He said, well, the fish aren't biting for another 45 minutes, dumb <laughs> Yeah, I got one too. If you got one, we're doubled up. <laughs> Scott said he had a bite on the worm, but I think he might've let it go right before I got this guy attacking the amazing troubleless hooks. Oh, golly, kiddo. 7.30, y'all. Got another half hour or so of good daylight. We might start breaking out the top waters here soon. I just missed another one on this crankbait. I've been stubborn. What happens is uh, earlier when I got snagged and I ended up trying to bend that hook back, I broke it off. So this front treble hook, which oftentimes snags those fish, not just that one in the back. I've had two fish side swipe it and I can tell those hooks are just resting up against the body like this. So it completely misses that fish because it doesn't have the hook that really is going to get the uh, pierce the lip and bring that one home. So kind of getting screwed on that crankbait. I'm gonna toss him in the tackle box for now and switch it to this guy with some stout three prong treble hooks instead of two. I think Scott was telling me an orange belly one he throws here does pretty well. So I'm gonna roll with it. This is another like mid range diver. I've only got a handful of decent diving cranks left. Try something different for you guys. Nice, nice. <laughs> there goes one on the robo worm for Scott. <laughs> Dig into the archives. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got one on. Yep, there we go. On the crank. All right, they're starting to hit now. There we go, yes. Where's the dang pliers? I should know. It's the boat I purchased, but I put them in specific spots. Are you missing an eye? No wonder you went after this. He said, I don't care what color it is. It looks like food. Walk the plank. Swim on. He's on. He's on. He's pulling. He's pulling you, right? Yeah, nice. 
Is it? Yep. <laughs> the bite is fired up though. This is what we're talking about, y'all. Sun is low. Sun is on the horizon. Scott and I both linked up in the last couple minutes. Uh, one on the crank, one on the worm. Seems like uh, they're going after either. Oh, there's your robo. <gasps> hey, hey, hey. Did he come off? Oh, I'll save it. Get ready. <laughs> save the robo worm. <laughs> Forget the fish. We need the bait that's catching them. <laughs> oh, I thought I had one eating it, but... Oh, I got a little weight. I got a little weight. Nope. Had the nibbles. I guess I'll make a few more casts with the crank and then we should probably go start setting her up. All right, to the boat ramp. All right, y'all, just finished editing today's video. We had a good time out on Lake Louisville, man. Me and Scott, uh, first time ever getting out with just him on the boat and we did pretty well as far as numbers go. Not necessarily the size that we're looking for. We say that often on this channel, man. They are quite elusive, but the thing is, you're not gonna go out and catch your PB every single time you go out and fish. So. Stick with us on these future episodes. We're catching bigs as well. Throwing the big swim baits in some recent videos. We got a lot of kayak content. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and sign up for notifications. I also got my newest mystery tackle box in the mail today, guys. So I'm gonna be uh, working at a slam attempt very soon. Be looking out for that. You guys can try your first mystery tackle box for as low as $10 with the link in the description. Big shout out to them. We've been loving their service, identifying new lures. Some of the cranks that we threw tonight, actually, we've received in previous mystery tackle boxes, guys. So definitely check them out. That's going to wrap it up for today's episode, though. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat>